is Neeta here and welcome to the new episode of the series Homeopathy Around the World. In this series, we visit different countries and we talk to the homeopathic practitioners there and find out about the status of homeopathy in their country. In this episode, we are going to explore the prominence of homeopathy in one of the Southeast Asian countries, which is also called the Land of Smiles. This country's capital has got the longest name in the world. Yes, it is Thailand. And our guest today is Pachari Yangcharan. Pachari is pursuing her diploma in classical homeopathy from International Academy of Classical Homeopathy, Greece. Very happy to have you over, Pachari. Sawadhi <laughs> ka. It means hello in, in Thai language. Okay, all right. Yes, we are familiar with that, but it always sounds so nice, musical, and very, uh, it sounds very good. So, Sawadhi ka, it is. Yes, yes. So, Pachiri, it, that brings me, since you brought this greetings in Thai, mm -hmm. is it true that? capital of Thailand, Bangkok, has got the longest name? Yes, yes. Um, the ceremonial name is quite long and we get like the world of record from Guinness World of Record that we use 168 letters. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to hear the full name? Okay, yes. I will read it, uh, the, name, the full name for you. กรุงเทพมหานครอมรรตนโกสินทร์มหินทราอยุธยามหาดิโดภพนพรัตน์ราชธานีบุรีรมย์อุดมราชนิเวศมหาสถานอมรพิมานอวตารสถิตปากกา
um, also you found a similar meaning when we uh, heard about you when you studied homeopathy. So it's right. like <clears throat> it all came together for you. Yeah. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Very very interesting to know that. And um, from that moment, I just um, search for places that teach uh, homeopathy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's where the search or quest to learn more about homeopathic treatments and cure came in. When wow. you saw a lot of similarity between what you were, you know, you were practicing as a Buddhist and then you saw that the meanings, you found it very meaningful and uh, uh, there, there is a lot of commonalities, what you say is there, which is something which is very new for me. I, it's, uh, I would love to explore and understand that more. Wonderful. So, um, you know, Pachari, you also took the bold step to move out of your busy, hectic city life to one that is unhurried, unhurried uh, self-sustaining life, close to nature, uh, mm -hmm. new learnings. I know you moved out from city life and to more of a kind of a village life, yeah? Am I right in saying that? Right, right. I, I live in Pachong area now, which is... 150 kilometers uh, up north from Bangkok. It's mm -hmm. very, uh, very serene um, scenery in, um, surrounded by um, mountain and trees. I think this uh, gives me freedom uh, and serenity to uh, enjoy what I'm doing in a slow pace or on my own pace. I can uh, do my own things like uh, study homeopathy while I'm do the gardening or some sort of a thing that I like. Mm -hmm. And uh, it takes a shorter time to commute to the, the city, not like Bangkok. Like if we live in Delta Bangkok, we have to like mm -hmm. uh, take more than two hours to go to the city. But here I get more time from, from here. Mm -hmm. So it seems it has helped you a lot with uh, uh, the extra time for the studies, homeopathic studies, yeah? Right, and I think I am um, the person that feel good in open air, like Pasatila for some kind of that sort of character. So it's give me more energy to mm. to do things. I'm sure a lot of people will feel energized in such beautiful environment that you describe. Yeah, so uh, it's very nice to know that you're lucky to be uh, make that choice and be in natural surroundings. Yeah. You know, you have taken the studies of homeopathy. So probably you also know about how popular homeopathy is in Thailand. Uh, the people are kind of familiar to the word homeopathy. But back then when I um, studied this, I think it's very really a small community that's know about homeopathy, like the people in a uh, medical field, mm -hmm. uh, um, some sort of people that have to go abroad and then they brought back this um, science to, to Thailand. Before it's just like um, the people, the small group, they know it from um, some of the people that have set up a homeopathic community and they are uh, brought in homeopath from like Czechoslovakia or from India to fly in to mm -hmm. teach a short course to Thai that interested in this science. And it's uh, the course is just about the how to treat the acute cases. Mm -hmm. to see or potency um, um, remedies. And uh, I, I just took that, that sort of course, um, all the courses that available at that time in 2012. Mm -hmm. and, um, and now it's getting um, more popular among the alternative school, like homeschool people and the alternative way of, of the school, like uh, the wardrobe kind of the philosophy things that uh, the housewife and the parents, they embrace these uh, homeopathy uh, to, to treat their children yeah, and their family. So mm -hmm. it's uh, more, more popularity getting, getting, getting more and more and also community is uh, grew a little bit bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And from the pandemic in the last two years, that's bring the the word homeopathy is quite up to uh, to the light because the here we also have the 
Homeopathic Association of Thailand and uh, the homeopathic community here, they join hand to uh, distribute the uh, homeopathy um, remedies mm -hmm. to the people mm -hmm. so they can help uh, the case of uh, healing the, the pandemic. And it's getting to uh, on the social media and on the TV. So people get a little bit um, uh, familiar with the word homeopathy and more people interested in, in homeopathy nowadays. It's great to hear that, you know, uh, homeopathy is getting more and more popular. And especially during this pandemic time, it had a role to play uh, in your country uh, with uh, taking care of uh, the, the, you know, pr probably most probably it must be, they must be, uh, uh, you know, talking about it, discussions about it and how homeopathy can be useful in this situation. It's wonderful to know that. And I'm sure we also know that, you know, how homeopathy should be used in pandemics. It is another topic and another debate. It by it own, by its own self, and I'm sure we um, if we start talking about it, it will be a, 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 another subject altogether. But at the same time, it's uh, it's very encouraging to know that you know uh, homeopathy uh, is being recognized, is being uh, talked about. There is a buzz about homeopathy, and it can help. Uh, in not just simple acutes where they were managing at, as you said, at homes, the parents with young children, but it has got bigger, much bigger role to play. Mm -hmm. Wonderful to know that uh, this change uh, that is uh, coming about in Thailand. So with this, um, Pachari, we, uh, I move on to the next question. Um, do you know how homeopathy reached Thailand? Is there a, some study about the history of how homeopathy came uh, to your country? Uh, I just have done some research and uh, the homeopathy first introduced to Kingdom of Thailand. Back then it's called Siam mm -hmm. in the year um, 1851 um, during the King Rama II um, reign. An American uh, missionary named um, Dr. Bad, uh, Dr. Dan Beach Badley, or in Thai we call him Dr. Badley, but mm -hmm. it's like Badley, right? And he uh, has a close, close relationship with the elite people, like the royal family. Mm -hmm. So uh, this gained trust from the royal family. Then it's come to Thailand. And um, you know what? The first homeopath, Thai homeopath, is uh, a prince. Mm -hmm. And his name is um, His Royal Highness Gomeluong Wong Sa Chirat Senit. And mm -hmm. he's the first homeopath. He's um, the, the 49th son of the King Lama II. Okay. So he has a capability that uh, can manage and administer of the homeopathy remedies uh, because he kind of um, learned from Dr. Badly. So um, this is uh, uh, this is how homeopathy reach um, our country. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it seems like the royal family had adopted uh, uh, the homeopathic way of uh, treatment, and uh, that's nice to know that there is a kind of a history here which you could track down, and I'm sure uh, uh, that's kind of uh, very encouraging for the. Uh, not only for the royal family, but for the general population that, you know, homeopathic uh, treatments and its usefulness in general public. Wonderful. So, um, uh, you know, um, you are a student of homeopathy. You are studying at the International Academy of Classical Homeopathy. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a course uh, which is uh, you know uh, we have been talking about it uh, and uh, you uh, are pursuing th this right now you're in the process of completing it so uh, I would like to know students point of view how are you finding this e-learning course okay um, I was introduced uh, the program was introduced uh, to me by Dr. Wanlok Tanaki. He is uh, the vice president of the Homeopathic Association of Thailand. 
uh, actually I was his patient and I, I as I uh, mentioned to you earlier that I was have like a, some sort of um, urge to know where to study. Then um, I asked him like, uh, can I uh, have like a further study of homeopathy uh, seriously? And then he introduced me to, to the e-learning course. Uh, he mentioned that um, the e-learning program of uh, the International Academy of classical homeopathy um, that we, we call like the IACH here that um, he said that this program is um, teaching a Hanimanian, Hanimanian classical homeopathy and taught by Professor George Ritikas. And um, people in the medical field can study and also the uh, like enthusiastic people also can can um, enroll to this course. That's why he uh, directed me to uh, Miss Chichino. Uh, at that time, in the year 2018, Miss mm -hmm. Chichino is also a, a student of the academy, and she also a coordinator uh, for the academy at that time. And she uh, mentioned to me that uh, it's worth uh, invest your time and money to study with the teacher of the teacher and the living legend, uh, Professor George Vichukas. From that, uh, I just like, uh, this is what I wanted to pursue. Okay, that's why how I, I met with the learning program. So um, you got a very good recommendation and you were led to this course. And uh, seems like uh, you are enjoying the course the way you have expressed it. Would you like to say a little bit more about how do you feel the courses? Are you learning a lot and uh, how, how is it uh, going on for you? Uh, the course content, do you, how do you find the course content? I think uh, it's excellent that the whole course, like the first part is the grand rule and the theory. Uh, how, how do you... Um, expect the remedy act and how do you evaluate the case and also the um, material medica and how to do the repertorization and question and answer and, and i like the most is the case taking the live casing uh model which is i can practice why i i listened i i learned it online right and i just like sometimes when professor said in the in the in the uh the the video who got the, the remedy? I just slept by it. <laughs> <laughs> and also, um, uh, it's good that uh, because in Thailand you you have really uh, opportunity to to see the live cases, you know, the live case taking, you know. But in here you can uh, study it online, and um, it it has uh, the system that's quite good. And extensive notes for you to to um, to have a look. And also, I like most is the personal note that you can um, touch that button, and then you can take note online on the platform. I think it's very very really good. And um, because Thai, they are uh, sometimes the English is not that uh, fluent. They can pause the subtitle and you know um, search for the meaning. Mm. And in the near future. Um, you're gonna have Thai subtitle, right? Because we form a team, a volunteer, a student, uh, to work on the translation. So in in about a year or two, I think um gonna be available in, in Thai subtitle as well. That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh -huh. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So um but amongst all what I could hear, you find the course very, very comprehensive. It covers a lot. It's mm -hmm. in, in depth, uh, but I like the part wherein you, when you, you said that, you know, when the professor asks in during, in his video, the, did anybody get this remedy and you raise your hand right here. And that's because it's so interactive in spite of it being just a e-learning course. But if you sit to watch the videos, you almost feel you're sitting in the class. I agree with you. You feel like you just in the, the lecture, le lecture hall, you know. <laughs> mm. Yes, yes. And I agree with you also that, you know, uh, it is uh, a privilege to watch 
Professor Vitulkas doing uh, in his uh, live case statements. This uh, opportunity uh, is not very easily available otherwise. So case after case, and it's with several follow-ups, we have learned a lot through that. Mm -hmm. And uh, congratulations to you and your team who's doing all the translation. It seems like it's a lot of work. That's going to be an enormous work for you. Right. But um, the student, they just volunteer. Like, oh, can I join the project? I would like to help translating the 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 e learning is just so touching today. <laughs> they would like to help uh spread the Hanimanian classical home to to yeah. to mm -hmm. So this is the work you're doing for the course, e-learning course, because obviously you have seen that you can even make it even more fine-tuned for your own country by translating, translating uh, the, uh, you know, giving the subtitles in Thai language. That's amazing. But do you know, Patchari, I also know you do a lot of work to create awareness and spread knowledge about homeopathy in Thailand. You yourself are a coordinator for the e-learning program in this classical homeopathy for IACH. So how do you manage to do um, motivate people? You know, I, it's, uh, you being a student, you also are a coordinator. You are doing the translation work. You are interacting a lot with lot, many people. How do you manage all this? Uh, I think maybe um, it's, it's my calling to help professor. Because I, I was in Alonisus in 2018. Mm -hmm. And when I was there, I, I just uh, sensed really good uh, energy and also the vibe, good vibe, positive vibe from everybody and also from professor. And um, it just took me like that, just like, oh, I, I want to help. I want to help. Because uh, before that, the student for the e-learning is quite a small number. Mm -hmm. So I just, it's just come to me that I, I might be a, 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 a help or to, to spreading this science to, to Thai. So that's why um, I think I work with passion and also people here in the, in the homeopathy community here, they are very kind and very nice. When I ask them to help spread the, the words about the e-learning course or the conference, like before the pandemic, um, Tishinok and I and some uh, uh, the student team, we mm -hmm. organized uh, a small conference fly in um, the IACH lecturer to fly mm -hmm. here and have a small seminar, like 30 people. Um, I think it's for two time and, and get really well ex acceptance. And because, um, we don't have to fly out to, to attend the conference, right? We just bring in the lecturer from the academy to, to come here. And uh, even the, uh, the president and the vice president of the Homeopathy uh, Association of Thailand joined the event. And um, now people just request like, can I, we have like some sort of this uh, often or like, uh, once a quarter, something like that. And um, that's why it's like uh, give our, give our, uh, give, give the team, like motivate to, to do the help. And also for me, like, oh, we get well accepted. It good then. So I, it's just like energy for me to, to work more for, for this spreading the, the good things of the e-learning and the uh, classical homeopathy. So uh, everybody just really, really uh, happy to help. And also I have some sort of a multi, um, multi skill from my previous um, career. So I just um, prepare the e-flyer or the organizing things, that sort of a thing that I have in my own you know, like previous job. So that's why it's uh, useful to 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 help the e-learning program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your passion is very evident, Pachari. Yeah, I can see it when you, the way you talk. You're very passionate about homeopathy, and it's it's uh, homeopathy is uh, kind of a calling for you. And that was uh, quite a big statement. When it becomes a calling, it's no longer a lot of work. It just happens. 
So uh, I do understand now from where you gain all this energy to do so much. Wonderful. And uh, and you also brought, uh, brought up another important point is that, uh, you know, uh, at times it might be difficult for many of us to just uh, go time and again every year probably uh, for the courses, uh, the seminars, the courses to Greece uh, to hear uh, Professor Vitulkas. Um, but they, we also have the privilege that there are good teachers with the academy where we can on request fly down and conduct the seminars. And I can see that your, uh, your team or your, your, you know, uh, the homeopaths in Thailand have benefited from it and you are, you are planning to do it again, looks like there's a, there is a, there's an inquiry looks like that people are interested. Like uh, for last week, uh, we have a session with Professor mm -hmm. uh, Thai uh, student and get really well feedback, acceptance, and, and a few um, participants mentioned that can we do like uh, another session on the level of health? Mm -hmm. uh, so we can, um, a homeopath in Thailand can know more about this. It's useful for case management, something mm -hmm. like that. So. Uh, the situation is improved now. They might like to have um, an, another conference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice to know that. Nice to know that. And, uh, you know, Pachari, you were mentioning about the Homeopathic Association in Thailand. So, uh, would you be able to give more details about what this association is? Um, the association, they call a uh, Homeopathic Association of Thailand. Mm -hmm. uh, the president, uh, his name, Professor Dr. Uh, Amon Prem Kamon. Actually, he's a, a, diploma, a, a diploma holder of the academy as well. Mm -hmm. So he's the president. And uh, the association was registered on the 1st of June, 2010. Mm -hmm. And the vice president is uh, Dr. One the one that introduced me to, to the e-learning program. Mm -hmm. Then the, the association set up a course called the Model Zero, which mm -hmm. is a, um, a course like three, three day course available for people like enthusiastic housewife or people in medical field to uh, learn about basic homeopathy, how to treat the acute cases with homeopathy remedies, like they uh, held this uh, yearly before the, the uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. About 100 or 200 people uh, attend this conference and people uh, expected this kind of uh, event yearly, the, the people that haven't uh, enrolled to this course. But too bad that it didn't have this class for like two years. Hopefully that next year they're going to um, uh, hold this again, hold this again in, in the year 2023, I think. <laughs> so it seems like your association is doing a lot of work to propagate uh, the knowledge about homeopathy. So that seems the main, main activity that they may conduct small courses here and there also and uh, they they are well received people respond they attend so mm -hmm. it's a very good uh, channel or way of uh, educating the public about the use of homeopathy uh, in day-to-day -day life right so right. it's interesting to know how, how how active the association is so Pachari, uh, that brings me um, uh, to another question about now that you're going to complete your e-learning course, uh, mm -hmm. what would you like to do after that? What would I like to do next? Yes. Uh, ah, of course, if I finish, I will take the final exam to get my diploma. And mm -hmm. then I set up a small uh, private clinic to, to treat Thai with homeopathy, classical homeopathy. And along the way, I need to um, further study to uh, earn my 
licensed to practice <laughs> in, in, in Thailand. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you will make a great homeopath with, with your passion and dedication that you have. I'm sure you'll make a great homeopath. Uh, yes. So looks like uh, you are getting prepared to be there, to reach there. And, uh, you know, continue your interest with homeopathy and give it out to the public. Treat, treat people with homeopathy and let more and more people benefit from it. So uh, interesting to know about that, that, you know, um, yeah, you have, you made a conscious decision to bring a change in, uh, in your part of your career. You decided to study alternative medicines. Uh, you, you, you focused or you zeroed on to homeopathy. You've done your beautiful course and you're getting all set to set up your own practice. You will do well, I'm sure. Is there a book, Pachari, that you would recommend to people who are, you know, keen learners to know more about homeopathy? First, okay. as well as general public. Okay, I have uh, this, the Level of Health Thai edition, mm -hmm. which is, um, was translated by the IACH student team, uh, lead by Professor um, Amon Benkamon, mm -hmm. the president of the Homeopathic Association of Thailand, is uh, the diploma holder of the academy. So this um, can be like a textbook for the people that uh, like to seriously uh, further study homeopathy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I recommend you to, to read this book and it's in Thai, so you will have a well understanding about uh, the brand rule and everything about uh, homeopathy that you'd like to know. Because uh, when we do the translation, we translate word by word. Mm -hmm. We want to uh, have the exact meaning that professor want to, to explain. So it took like two years to do this. <laughs> oh, 40 years. that's a lot of work. That's, that's a lot of work, yeah? Yeah. Uh huh. And, yeah, and for the people that's a, a really beginner, I recommend this one. This one is also um, a translated Thai edition. It's about like basic homeopathy for the people that just uh like want to know more. What homeopathy do and you know in long term. And it was translated by a student of the academy as well, which is also um, one of the translator for the for this book. Mm -hmm. And also, she also in the team for translate the the, the Thai subtitle as well. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of enthusiastic and art active students who are doing a lot of work for bringing uh, homeopathy to keen learners in your own language, Thai language. Yeah, that's interesting to know. And I'm sure with this, the, you know, the future of homeopathy will start looking even bright, brighter, I should say. Yes. I hope so too. <laughs> so uh, Pachari, um, with this, we come to uh, one of the very favorite portion of this uh, episodes that I do. And I'm very excited to bring that on that, uh, you know, it is uh, this particular part is I, I should say it's one of my favorite segments of this episode. And uh, it is called Toast to Homeopathy. Okay. What we, we, as I had requested you to bring a kind of a juice or a health drink with you and um, what we are going to do is we are going to toast for progress of homeopathy with it. Okay. I have with me a glass of juice here and um, what do you have with you Pachari? I have honey lemon, kind of some sort of mocktail that I did it myself, I mix it myself. Awesome. <laughs> I wish I could uh, just exchange that with you. It looks right. And uh, the butterfly pea, the butterfly pea flower. Yeah, the light blue. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sure it is. And it's just maybe plucked by you from your garden. I almost imagine that. Right. I just 
take it from my garden, you know, everything here is organic. Okay. Organic, okay. So with this, what we will do is we will toast by using the three very important words for homeopathy. These three okay. very defining words for homeopathy. And mm -hmm. as you must have guessed, these words are similia similibus curanta. Okay. So let's go, Pachari. Similia similibus curanter. Cheers to you. Yes, to you. <laughs> so, um, Pachari, it has been so interesting conversing with you and knowing so much about how homeopathy is being received in Thailand. And um, uh, we wish you the very best for your diploma in classical homeopathy from IACH. And my and our whole uh, community's best wishes for all the efforts to spread homeopathy, classical homeopathy in Thailand. And not just Thailand, but all around the world. Thank you for coming on and it has been a pleasure talking to you. Thank my you. Thank you to you as well. That's something I will say in English. Thank you very much. In Thai, Kapun Ka. Yes. Kapun Ka. Right. That's right. Okay. We've learned so much from one another. We learn from one another actually. And we've picked up two nice words today. One was Sawadhika, which is welcome, and Kapunka, that is. Hi, hi. <laughs> Hello, viewers. Pachari and I would now like to hear from you. We would like to hear the answer to one of the questions, which is Where is International Academy of Classical Homeopathy based? Not just the name of the country, but also the place within the country. Do put in your answers in the comments below. And we will see you in the next episode of Homeopathy Around the World with yet another exciting guest, yet another exciting conversation in yet another exciting country. Till then, I'm Nita Kapoor signing off now. See you next time. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.